Okay guys, quick video to show you how to build a nav mesh and if it fails in this attempt there'll be no video because my partner's been waiting to watch TV for I don't know how long now. Okay so quickly, in your daisy root folder you're going to have already have to have created an at map name and your empty dot map name folders, uh, patch your PBOs and all the fun stuff. From there, we're going to need a couple of files, and to start it off, we will quickly change the config. So in your main folder, world, main config, you need to scroll down, and you need to hitch a ride off the Chinaris nav mesh for now, because apparently without a nav mesh in there, you can't create a nav mesh, which is pretty vicious circle. So I'll paste this in the comments below anyway. Once you've got it pointed to the Chinavis nav mesh, you can close that down. Then you want to right click server DZNV, edit with notepad. You can put your name at the top if you like. And where it says empty dot map name, you need to put your map name in there. Save. Close that one. This one starts off in notepad, but I'm going to copy this across to notepad++ plus plus. and again you're just changing the at map name to whatever your map name is and then when you save you need to go file save as you can call it your map name again just to keep things simple but you need to save it as a batch file batch uh, I'll put this on the desktop because I'll move both of them at the same time so save that close close remove that because we've just copied from that one so now you should have a batch file and a server dznv file I'm going to hop back in to the root folder of daisy and take those two files with you plug them in there now you need to double click your batch file this will be setting up the, the local host just wait for this to finish so when you get there connected to steam steam policy etc that means that that's connected then daisy tools nav mesh generator right click run as administrator ah, okay then nav mesh generation opens go to generation connect data server 127001 is what it should be at click OK this here tells you that you're connected go back to generation again and start generating don't change anything there click OK the visualize generator tiles you can turn off if you want but it doesn't really show you much and for this map which is only a test map it's really small so this is going to go quite fast okay once nav mesh is complete file uh, save nav mesh I'm going to go straight into my P drive my map name and into my nav mesh folder. Yours might be in a different place. This is how mine's set out. If you've already got one there, you need to overwrite it, but you shouldn't. That's just from a, a previous test. I'll just delete that one out. So I just save mine as nav navmesh.nm. Yeah, go for it. Close that. Close, close, close. Close that. Close that. So now that we've generated the nav mesh, we can now go back into our main config file back down to the nav mesh and we don't need to borrow this one anymore one thing to note is though is to follow the correct name so I had a capital N on my nav mesh and the actual file the nav mesh folder was lowercase so we'll leave that you can delete all that out you just need to put your root folder there so Yorkshire nav mesh folder see is there Yorkshire nav mesh and then straight to the file close that save changes 
Now, once you've got your new nav mesh, you're going to have to repack your map to include that. So this is already set up for Yorkshire anyway. So I'm going to crunch this one. means everything's packed so my path to my nav mesh has obviously worked 